Christ is coming again. My name is Pastor Chekero. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should not overtake you as a thief. We serve a faithful God. When it comes to the second coming, he has prepared us. He has given us information. He has told us powerful secrets. He has revealed himself so that we can be ready for his coming. In the book of 1 Thessalonians, Paul is writing to the Thessalonian people. And he says, when they say peace and safety, we are going through a pandemic now. There will come a day when they will declare the pandemic is over. We know there is an economic crunch that has crunched the whole world. But there will come a day when they will say all is well. According to the verse, when we think all is well, economy is doing fine. No more pandemics, nothing. Health-wise, we are good. Education-wise, we are good. And then the Bible then says, then he will come like a thief in the night. And then he talks about a woman in travail, a woman who is expectant. She'll be at work in the afternoon, doing all things. But lo and behold, in the night, the baby needs to come out. Then the next thing, when you try to check them in the morning, they've delivered a child. It came quickly. Nobody, nobody was ready. Nobody knew about it. They shall not escape. You are not going to escape the coming of the Lord. Whether you believe it or you don't, it doesn't matter. Whichever side you have taken is fine. But the Lord is coming. A woman who is pregnant, one day she will give birth. It's not going to be pregnant forever. The creator of this world says, this world will come to an end. And then the writer says, but don't allow this to come to you like people who are in the darkness. Because you are not in the darkness. As a Christian, you have been warned. Whichever church you go to, you have been warned that Christ is coming again. And don't allow that day, that day to overtake you like a thief. There are only two days that we live for. This day and that day that day of the coming of the Lord. So therefore, when that day comes, let it not find you in the darkness. Let it not find you unprepared because you have been prepared. And I come here as a messenger from the throne of grace to announce to everyone who is listening to my voice, Jesus is coming again. It's true. This promise is sure. He promised himself and he's going to do it. And he says, don't allow it to come like a thief in the night. Remember, you need to be watchful. All the warnings that he has given us, he did not give us the day, he did not give us the time, but we know there is that day that is coming. He did not tell us where time it shall be, but what we know is he is surely coming. Therefore, we need to be watchful. We watch in the day, we watch in the night. We watch during day, we watch during the night. We watch in summer, we watch in winter. We are always watchful. Even in spring, we watch. It doesn't matter where we are, how far we are from home, or how close we are from home. It's a, always a good thing to be watchful. Don't allow that day to come without you not being ready. Always be ready for His coming. When you open your door to go out, be ready. When you come back home, be ready. When you stand up, be ready. When you sit down, be ready. He is surely coming. When the economy is doing well, be ready. When the economy is doing bad, when there's a pandemic, be ready. Be ready all the time because he is coming again.